Hi guys, so just want to say hello. <laughs> I'm back since yesterday and I made some notes because sometimes I I forgot to say a few things or I wanted to say specific things so I'm just you can see I just wrote down a few notes I want to go over. First, um, thank you for all your nice messages from yesterday about the Doug Jones emotional <clears throat> video I had done. I ended up just leaving it out there. It was nice and moving, right? I feel like it changed things for us in the sense that I feel like now it's possible, you know, to change things. And even if you feel like some things are kind of crazy, oh my God, this is going to happen, that's going to happen. I feel like we understand there is a future. It's uh, We are able to move beyond the distraction of the day, okay? And, and so... So that's that, okay, in terms of the, the messages and comments. Um, also, number two, I wanted to thank you for your message or your messages and your inquiries about how to make donations. And you can see on my webpage, terrapolitics.com slash donate for more information. I'm not on Patreon yet. I created an account and everything, but I, I'm not sure I want to have something. I don't know how long I'll be able to do this for, basically. So I don't know if I, I'm ready to make the commitment for them, like having it super regularly, but I think I might by early next year. I don't know yet. I'm looking into it. Okay. Just wanted to say, but anyway, right now I, I just receive donations through PayPal basically. All right. Okay. So that's two. Number three is I wanted to do, I wanted to do readings about 2018, the predictions for next year. And I wanted suggestions, okay, I am open to suggestions, and I just wanted to mention, when I say I'm open to suggestions, obviously, <clears throat> I like to read what people are thinking about, and and a lot of times I will do, incorporate their question, or follow actively, but that doesn't mean that you should send me hundreds of requests all the time, like some people send me a lot of emails, that, that's, that's cool. But at the same time, it's not about each person. It's about something that could be could be helpful for everybody. So, so, so that's that's the angle here, okay. And um, and anyway, so so about the 2018, what I'm looking for, and you can see, like I said here on the text, on my website, um, terrapolitics slash to do list. There's I already have a list of themes I want to I want to look into for 2018. So after you viewing that, if you feel like there's something that's not there, let me know by sending me a message or, or um, leaving a comment, okay? And uh, I want to focus on themes that are collective as opposed to people, like one person, okay? Um, another, sometimes people have questions about, for example, who's going to be the next president? I, I don't know, and that's too complicated. I've, I've already explained this before that or, or to some one comment that for example if i want to look into who's going to be the next president i have to look at about 10 people and do an extended reading on 10 people and that takes a very long time so so again so those kinds of questions that are very open-ended and sort of like what's going to happen like what it depends on the will of people that I have no knowledge of and wills of many, many people that takes, that would take a very long time. And I think it's a bit premature. I will look into people that I like personally, that I'm interested in finding out, but not in the sense that, that yet it's about the president or it's basically, you have to look into a person and look into where they're going to be, what's going to happen to them in two years, where they're going to be. So if that matches something that could be sort of like a presidential signifier, then it makes sense. Otherwise, it doesn't. Like I did that with Hillary, I remember, and I don't think she has um, in her in her thing. Like I don't think there's indicators that she'll be president. She will work in the government, but not. I don't think she's going to be president in the future. Anyway, so that was just the question about the themes things I just because what I want to do is I want to probably between Christmas and New Year's record these videos and then start posting them later or either early in the year do like a week of the of like ch mini chapters about the year themes and things like that 
So again, if you have suggestions, please let me know. Okay. And, uh, um, what else about themes and suggestions? Yeah, that's it. And I know, for example, I've been very anxious about several themes, like even the Doug Jones thing, of course, it was very anxiety producing. Um, and I know there's somebody mentioned something about tax, the tax reading, asking me yet again to do another one. I am not going to do another reading about the tax situation because I've done four <laughs> so far. And I feel like it's important for me to look into new themes or people I haven't done because if every little thing that happens, every momentary thing that shows up, I do, then I'll never do it. other bigger things or any other, anything different. It would just be dealing with the day-to-day -day barrage of distractions from the Trump administration. Okay, so, so keep that in mind. And the last thing is that I am catching up on messages. Oh, yeah, I'm catching up on messages um, from people who emailed me about personal readings. I'm a little bit behind that. I'm sorry, it's been <laughs> a little crazy and I am definitely going to reply by tomorrow. Okay. Those of you who have written and I haven't heard back from me, um, I'm replying really soon. Okay. With more details. All right. Okay. So, so that's the announcements for today and I'm going to get started. All right. Okay. So today I've done actually quite a few readings sort of like, um, hold on a second. Yeah. Not readings in the sense of, um, Okay, here I'm gonna have to change this here. Okay. Uh, okay, we're adjusting. So, one thing that I, I've already actually, I said the thing about the tax plan, but I've already done something about net neutrality, but it's com coming up tomorrow. So, I did a pretty extensive look into this, the net neutrality situation. Okay, again. And, uh, and I wanted to go over it with you a little bit. So I did three, three little tabs of readings about net neutrality. Okay. First is the basic question about the results of the net neutrality vote tomorrow. And then I did a look into Ajit Pai about what's going on with him. And then I did another quick question on whether it will be repealed. Yes or no. Very simple, right? Because I, Sometimes I just don't, I feel like I'm not asking the super direct question. Oop, something else. And so, um, and so now I just want to, um, look into the first part of the question. Okay. And then I hear agent. So just what's going on. So I just want to, let's get started because it's going to be a bit long here. Okay. So here we are at the results of net neutrality vote tomorrow. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Here we are. So, okay. So getting started, as you can see her, first of all, I don't believe before I show you all the other readings in this one, I don't believe it will, it will be repealed. It could be, but I don't right? because I just want to say, even though the Doug Jones thing said that, Oh, I saw these things like none of this is written in stone. Okay. But I, what I see here indicates to me the several other readings I've done that it's not going to be repealed. Okay. So why let's look into the situation. So at the center, we have the chariot and the mountain, which to me is kind of contradictory because, uh, chariot is about victory and the mountain is mountain is about opposition and long-term difficulty. Okay. So, so that's the center. Now, if I look, at the, um, the Lenormans. Okay. And this is why I, I did a more, more extended readings because I was like, Oh, what is this? This, what does it mean? Okay. I was, I was a little bit confused. I was a little bit like, is there a chance that this could really pass? Because the reason I'll tell you why I don't think it will pass. And I'll tell you why I think there's a slight chance that it could pass. The reason why I don't believe it will pass is because you have the mountain in the center and the mountain is really bad for those kinds of things where you need to 
it's just very opposition and it's like it, I don't I think it's a no for example if a person asks me am I going to get a job and you get a mountain like the other day I did a, re a reading for a person in person reading somebody I, I think I mentioned my friend's <clears throat> birthday party and she was seeing this guy and she asked she was like obsessed about the sky and she's like oh is there a chance we're you know we're going to be together and I was like and there was a mountain between them I was like uh no <laughs> sorry no 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 like that but I was like sorry uh it was a grand tableau and and the card between them was mountain so it's like no because it's like challenges and difficulties and because when you get a yes for anything it's a yes it's not like there's no there's no question about it okay so in this case because the mountain is at the center it it, it really casts a very strong vibe over everything okay now um so Let's look more at the de details and let's look at the Lenormand because the Lenormand, like I said, what really matters here, what really indicates something is the Lenormand, not the tarot. The tarot really gives a lot of color, but it doesn't, it should not be seen as the, as the outcome. Okay. All right. So the Lenormand, if you look at positions one and two, it says basically opportunity through a snake, the, op the opportunistic snake encounters long-term challenges and difficulties and then if we look at um, two three four problems for the snake to um, the snake encounters problems through an interest in moving things along in, in creating positive change for itself and then and then three four five it it means um, moving to there's difficulty long-term difficulty in, in creating positive change for the travel I think the here the ship means internet okay for the internet um, connection situation okay so and it says looking now let's incorporate the tarot judgment meaning they're putting this almost like on trial again as an, they gave themselves an opportunity um, to put to judge this again, right? That the snake put this started to wanted to create this opportunity for for itself, and that two is people worried, right? Everybody's super worried about it, and and three is like they're really pushing for the victory. Four, they have the money, okay? They they like it's a money thing for them, okay? And five, the money is not enough, okay? The money is being used. Or the purpose of it is to use the money for the wrong reasons. Okay, there's something shady a little bit about the money thing. Um, so so that's that. Now, to me, like if I, if I look at the question, I think, okay, I'm asking, what are the results of the net neutrality vote tomorrow? Okay, so then I thought, you know what, I, I'm not 100% sure. So let me look into it more. Because then I look at the question, I think, well this isn't descriptive enough, right? It could be, what does it mean? It means that it doesn't mean that it didn't pass, that it doesn't mean that it passes. It could be describing the process of what happens during the vote situation, but it didn't give me enough of a strict yes or no reason. So I pushed it, I, not pushed it. I, I, let me show you this other thing I did here, this other part of the reading. So I did a reading for Agit, which is also, what I'm going to do, oh, I got a little confusing here, is I am going to, to separate the reading into into two parts okay so so I'm doing that because this readings these readings get more enormous and so when they get really big it's a nightmare to upload it takes hours so so I'm gonna make them a little bit smaller I'm gonna split I was gonna do everything together but I'm gonna split the reading about Egypt okay and uh, and so so that's that. Okay, I'm gonna split age it, and and um, I'm just gonna tell you a little bit about this one, and then and then I'm I'll, I'm gonna upload this one, and then do the reading on age it while the other one uploads. Okay, all right. So and by the way, there's a, I've done a lot of readings today, no no videos, but a lot of other readings I wanted to do. Okay. All right, so, okay, 
so let me because I feel like it takes it takes time so I should just kind of get with it all right so will neutrality so then like I said the other reading before this one that I just showed you was interesting but to me non-conclusive okay so after I did the reading on agent I expanded I pulled out more clarifying cards that I basically off of the spread to ask will will net neutrality be repealed and this is what I got and to me this is a definitive no okay why because if we're just looking at the Lenormand it's saying the opportunist opportunistic snake loses okay that's literally what it's saying because the snake means a non an untrustworthy per person the clover means um, opportunity and the mice always means loss on a base level okay it can have a few other meanings corruption and so forth but it means loss basically okay so if you have the judgment right underneath the judgment means loss it means they lost the snake lost okay so so uh, <clears throat> there's a, I think the the sun here for the snake I think in many ways could mean that there's a lot that people are looking into right those votes that are like all these fake votes, bots and so forth involved in pushing the message against net neutrality and underneath opportunity means wrong works, right? So it's like, it's shady and it's saying that it loses. So one thing I wanted to say that I've learned from the, even the experience of the Doug Jones meeting was that even if it, sh if it could be that, that it's not going to happen, it, it, meaning like if, even if tomorrow it feels like it could pass hold the hold tight because I think ultimately it's not gonna pass okay something is gonna be annulled and I'm getting more and more of an impression about this stronger and stronger that those things whatever it is that they are able to do it's gonna be undone um, I did a reading a reading on the dreamer situation that showed this very strongly so even though compared to the reading I did on dreamers the net neutrality situation seems a lot more assured it still is something you should keep in mind even if like because I know a lot of people get anxious I get anxious but like I said <clears throat> don't like even if it's something that that happens and it feels like it's forever it's not going to be forever like nothing is forever and this is not going to be forever either but I just want to say that um, tomorrow I don't believe it's going to pass just based on this very short brief question because that's exactly what it's saying it's not going to pass okay so that's that. Now I'm going to look into, let me show you quickly here about Agit. I'm going to do a sp specific reading just on him, but I want to, like I said, I want to, um, to, um, close this for now because it's going to take, it's going to make this super long and, and it's not necessary. Okay. To make this super long. Um, and it, it, it's only going to make it hard to watch. Okay, because like I said, it's going to hard to be hard to upload, but I'm going to upload this first one now, and then I'm going to move on to Egypt on the next video. All right. Okay. Thanks for watching.